presentation. Okay, Welcome. thank you, thank you. I'm the guy closing the show, you know, for the stand-up comedy guy. Uh, so, uh, I, I must warn you uh, for a crime, a big crime, replacing Guta Moregetz for, for, by me. Do you know her, Guta Moregetz? Now she's a great design. You know, it's incredible. So, I try to wonder what could I do to uh, compensate you. Huh? So, I decide to do a uh, I decide to do a uh, street it. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Music, please. Ta na 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 na. Ta na. Ta na ta na ta. Ta na 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 na. Ta na. Ta na. That's enough. <laughs> okay, thank you. Now, the name of this guy is. Uh, Three names, you know, it's usually in Portugal to have more than two names. Our King Carlos, <laughs> 20 names, man. I'm going to talk about at least 82 names, the names of the 41 students that worked in this great project from, have you seen, nine countries, all in Lisbon, all in uh, design management class as a faculty of architecture. Great work, okay, it, this is the work. Open design innovation. We are all sons or grandsons like me uh, of John Dewey, the great American thinker of democracy and education. And John Dewey said, education, oh man, is not preparation for life. Education, it's life itself. Some months ago, I was in Harvard, and I heard the new dean of Harvard speaking. Now I want to send my students to Mumbai, to Russia, to China, to Portugal. Man, but it's very difficult to go to Mumbai, you see, unless you are there, of course. Um, it's very difficult to knock at the door of companies. No, we have no space, we have no time, we have no uh, money to receive you. Even if you are a tough girl like uh, Solange, where is Solange? She's a tough girl. <laughs> where is Nicole? Where is Nicole? Nicole, she's a tough girl. It's difficult to knock at the door uh, um, of companies and say, no, I won't work here. This is a life case study. It's very difficult, but that's the place of open innovation, you know? Concept and process. This guy, professor of Harvard at the time, was the guy that developed, the, not the creator, but the, he developed the open innovation concept. He's now professor at Berkeley. His book of 2003, it's a very simple concept, you know. Like all of you uh, know, uh, sometimes, and even uh, today, even too much companies. Innovation, it, it was a secret inside the companies. Today, there are several companies, institutions, social communities, and so on, that think that there are plenty of knowledge outside, and even the inside knowledge can be used outside. It's a movement outside, inside, inside, outside, you know? That's the open innovation concept. Based on what? Based on web power, of course, networking. So, on the web, you have several. I, I intend that you leave this room uh, knowing everything about uh, open innovation. You have several portals. This is the most, uh, what I think is the most uh, useful one, open innovators. There is a, a European network of uh, open innovation. Even blogs with so rough design like this are important. They have many documents, ma many uh, links and so on. MIT has an open innovation course, you know. Even on TAB. I was, uh, I was present to open innovation concepts on the Charles Leadbeater uh, talk. Yokai Banklin from Harvard has a great uh, talk about open source economy. 
and Cameron Sinclair. Cameron Sinclair is a Nero on, uh, on TED, you know, he was a TED Prize. Cameron founded Architecture for Humanity, a, a, a great network of open innovation to promote solutions in several places, especially places with difficulties, you know? So let's go to open innovation. As you see, examples. In examples in open innovation, you have a great list of dozens and of dozens and dozens of platforms of open innovation. Of several uh, interests, so many kinds. So you can shoot, have you seen? Software, services, even companies, you know, several companies as uh, great uh, open innovation uh, divisions like Procter & Gamble, BMW, Lego, uh, Starbucks, and so on. So you choose a, um, a platform like Innocentive. It's a very important uh, platform, very dynamic, very, very diverse, and so on. And you have challenge. The seekers uh, put their problems in the platform. This is my problem. Who wants to solve it? And the solvers present the solutions. That's the simple way of working uh, in, a, in a platform. Have you seen this is connect and develop the open innovation platform of Procter & Gamble? Mm -hmm. They put the needs, these are some of the needs, they have thousands of needs. You choose a need, this for instance, baked potato snack product. There are a small uh, de description, if you want more data you can ask for and you present uh, your solution. And what's the reward? Once you can have money, you can have participation, experience, uh, promoting your your name, your work, and so on. There are a lot of rewards, and you can negotiate, of course, your reward. This is our uh, the steps of our experience. You see, very simple. We choose a challenge related to design management, of course. We connect, sometimes you need to have a login. We develop our project, submit and evaluate. Here's Andre from Russia, hmm? one of our students. To Vogel, do you know Vogel? High tech producer of LCDs and, uh, and uh, electronics. Andre developed a mobile system in vertical or in horizontal for LCDs. Very well rewarded. Very well prized. Anna, completely different. She worked for uh, USA for Luna, Luna Artisans. You see, do you know the, uh, them? They work uh, traditional Asian textiles, traditional Asian, uh, Asian tissues. And Anna created patterns for traditional Asian tissues, a Portuguese in Portugal, in Lisbon, incredible. Mikhail from Croatia. Great participation, was very well received. It was a network which includes Starbucks. They want a um, recycled cup of coffee, you see? And Mikhail created an incredible, simple solution. You can heat your cup, you see? <laughs> but there was very, uh, so many solvers uh, proposing a cup, a knitable cap. you see? What's the difference of Mikau? You can create your cup with the products of your region. You can create it from rice, you can create it from wheat, you can create it from sugar, according to the regions of um, where are you drinking coffee, you see? Incredible. Mikau, what's happened? Damien from, from, from France. He proposed an incredible, complete system of a new office for Atlanta. Atlanta, it's an incredible, great company in the Netherlands. And Yannick from Saint-Thomé, an African one, huh? Uh, don't touch me, man. <laughs> uh, don't touch it. It's not an object, it's a process very well received. Louise, an incredible, very, very uh, uh, prized from Fluvog. Do you know them? They are uh, very great producers of shoes, and uh, not only shoes. 
a very simple solution of two pieces for uh, an ergonomic shoes. Luiz Nunes from Portugal, Lisbon. And our dear Agnieszka Pitka from Poland. There are Polish in the room? No. Agnieszka Pitka, an incredible solution for Sarali, a new dosing of milk for coffee or anything that you want. But a lovely one. So lovely, so pretty. Okay, and the other students create brand image logos, tattoos, learning toys, t-shirts, air freshness, and so on. You see, I leave to you the results and the evaluation of this experience. 41 people in Lisbon working all over the world with these incredible solutions. Hmm? Am I thinking only in design? No. We can use this in medicine, in sport, in engineering, in science, in local, in, in social intervention. You see? Am I thinking only in Lisbon? No. I'm thinking in Abaddon, in Nigeria, in Dalisai, in Philippines, in Armenia, in China. And our Esteban in Colombia, man, we can have every world, all over the world, people creating with its purpose. Open your heart, open your mind. Thank you.